stay low. Yo, Mark 9. They really don't think we can keep doing this. They don't think we can keep making hits about cameras. Welcome to this Insta360 ONE X2 experience. While this is an unboxing and a review, I won't get super technical heavy, but I'll tell you how I use the Insta360 camera in my flows and how I feel this particular camera will be something that portrays inline skating as beautifully as it feels. So yeah, I do think this camera draws the viewer in. Okay, so if you've been watching this channel for a while, you won't be surprised to see me reviewing the Insta360 camera. The Insta360 camera worked its way into my workflow a couple years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, and since then it's displaced almost all my cameras. Um, I still use a, quite a variety of cameras, but this for inline skating, the Insta360 camera on the selfie stick that disappears in post is probably the biggest game changer for my inline skating channel um, since I started it. 361 X2. really small. It seems like we have a fancy tripod and a bullet time that you swing around to get a full 360 view, view of you in the middle of the circle. It swings around you. I can use a very long monopod for this and get right around my whole body. It doesn't take much, just a very small rotation of the wrist once you're used to this. So it's not a difficult thing to do. Here we are, a nice little tripod. Screw this onto this, and voila. I can plop this down on the ground and just do crossovers around it. Yeah, cool. I'm excited about the 361X2 um, because the screen is on this one and I want to check out um, how easy it is to use. The um, word on the street is it's quite easy. See a few little differences in the shape. Feels kind of cool. Check that out. Okay, the Insta360 XR2. I like where the power button is here, right on the side. Not to be confused with the front button here. So you know that's record, and this is in a perfect place. It's how you hold your camera. Nice place for a power button. I see the ports have improved, and the screen looks like a pretty good size. I'm liking this. It's got voice command. I can hit this to hit record, or I can just say, start recording. Really? Oh yeah. I love that it's a solid attachment, as in there's no intermediary here. This just screws directly into the Insta360, and you need no other little attachments to keep it attached to your pole. And there's no guessing as to whether it's straight or not when you're out there. You know if it's screwed on it's straight. So I really look forward to just plopping this down with this attachment and skating away and doing some stuff in front of my camera. Um, it's so nice that I can choose my angles afterwards. I can just put this anywhere, not worry if it's tilted or if I'm in the right field of vision. When I skate, I really just like to think about technique. So thinking about exactly where the camera is in relation to where I'm stopping or where I'm skating or carving, it's just such a buzzkill. I've got lens caps, I think lens caps are the most important accessory if you're an inline skater because inline skaters take risks things happen we fall we hurt ourselves we don't want to hurt our cameras the lens cap will just pop right over this and i'll still have accessibility to this so that is also another improvement that you'll see in the one xr2 there's a sound improvement some picture quality improvements it's waterproof up to 10 meters which is pretty good so the setup time is something that i really don't miss of the other cameras. And the ability to point this after post or in post when I'm editing is amazing. All I have to really think about is keeping it relatively steady and even then. The smooth camera on this is just so amazing. It really is almost the thing I dreamed about like 20 years ago, except it's not flying like one meter away from me. But with the selfie stick that you can stitch out, it looks like it's flying a meter away from me. So I've essentially got what looks like a drone in front of me, but it never gets out of control. Nobody can get between me and the camera. I'm not putting anybody in danger, and it's in my hand. So some of you might have noticed that I've moved, and some of you would be right. 
I'm just a little ways away from where I was before, a slightly better area, which is amazing because I loved where I was uh, skating-wise anyways. That is the extended monopod that I already have for my Insta360R. So I use a long one generally speaking, but the Insta360 just has so much latitude that I won't chop myself off if I've got a short one. I'll probably just want to keep it a little bit ahead. But I tried it out and it's not bad when you're using this as a monopod. But I love the long one. It's nice. There are so many ways to shoot and edit with the Insta360, but my favorite is this back-facing one where you get to see how I skate and you still get to see the kind of pavement I'm traversing. I find it amazing that the camera is so smooth it actually makes these streets look quite easy, I think. Yeah, it's just an incredibly smooth experience compared to my early videos. Um, it actually renders a lot of my stuff unwatchable because it's just so smooth nowadays. The active track and the way you can edit. Put the camera down and hit active track and post when you're editing. You don't have to choose it while you're filming. And it keeps track of me very well. I'm being darty and choosing different distances. And it's keeping me very centered. And just going around this bent way, you can see the different techniques I use. The hyperlapse, it's useful for skipping sections and adding a little vibrancy electricity. Bullet time here is very easy to use. I just hit it on the camera, then I'm going into bullet time and it's all set up for me when I go into my editing suite on my phone. Slow motion, I shot at 50 frames per second and it really slows it down in great detail. A little picture wobble, but that slowed down to like one quarter. Oh yeah, the forward facing where you can see what I'm seeing, the first person. Back to hyperlapse to skip a few things. Very smooth hyperlapse. And this third person, this video game kind of perspective from behind is something I don't use much, but people really do love. I think it's a younger person kind of thing too. I've got the bullet time handle here, which I break into bullet time later. I won't show you right now. But yeah, it was really easy to carry. It's not a pain. So I'm going to shut up and leave you with a little musical action edit. Turtleneck on with my camera, yeah Stay creamy, man, that's what they say Shoes laced up and I came to play Yeah, I'm first team, I'm a superstar They call me cream, like Abdul Jabbar Yeah, you have to face it, let's get back to basics I'ma take the shot like it's a vaccination I don't have the patience, I'ma shoot right now Yeah, we undefeated and you gon' lose right now Like click, 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 swish I can switch it up anytime like this I'm a videographer and I'm on the verse So when I shoot my shot, I don't you miss gon' take the shot Take the shot, take the shot You know I'm gonna take the shot Take the shot, take the shot Pull up and take the shot Take the shot, take the shot You know I'm gonna take the shot Take the shot, take the shot yeah, kid new, and I been shoot my shot, ooh The end to it, I been moving the rock, yeah My shit sweat like I been using a mop, ooh You get that, yeah, I been proving I'm wrong I been taking shots and now I'm starting to stutter Vision getting blurry, I should check my shutter I'm the cameraman, I need my camera, madam Shoot my shot like a man let I develop film, not feelings, ooh I develop film, not feelings, ooh I develop film I can touch with your
take the shot. Up. You know I'm gonna take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. I develop film, not feelings. Ooh, I develop film, not feelings. Ooh, I develop film. So the overriding feeling I have when I'm shooting with the Insta360 is freedom. I lose awareness that I'm shooting with this camera. Expandable pole is just so light and you don't fuss with it. You turn it one way to lock it, turn it the other way to unlock it. And not making adjustments to the camera, not having to worry if it's straight is really nice. I enjoyed using the screen and I had absolutely no problem flipping from mode to mode. And that's why you were able to see such a great variety of shots today. So I did order lens protectors, but I don't actually have them. And I got lucky in filming this video and not dropping the camera at all. So I do not suggest gating without the lens protectors. It just takes one fall to scratch that protruding 360 lens. It's just the nature of the format. So this camera shoots on 5.7K, but once you expand the picture, you're losing some Ks. It's the whole 360 image is 5.7K, but of course we're zooming in here, so. Uh, by the time it's off your editing system on your phone, it's 1080. But I find this camera in particular really holds up to close-ups. When I zoom way in, it's not super pixelated or grainy. I really like the ability to self-assess, find every single problem that happens when I'm out skating, and know exactly how I got hung up. Slow motion really helps for this. And the ability to zoom. A little caught up in that streetcar track there. I took that a little too far to the right. I should be more centered and more to the left. And now I know exactly what happened. So this one is really like a, a crew in your pocket. You can just change the angles, the shots. You can face this camera anywhere. I can shoot it overhead to the side. There's a reason they talk about this being a camera crew in your pocket. Glad that car finally sped up. Other cliches, I would say zero action missed. It's a good catchphrase. As long as the camera is on and out away from you, you catch everything. The possibilities are endless. Something else positive I could say about this. I just love the ability to capture the neighborhood. I can go wide, I can go narrow, I can look at anything I want. And it's also really nice to move away from me and shoot others. I mean, look at this scene. This is like brand new. It's a crazy exercise post-COVID thing going on. Or mid-COVID. So yes, the possibilities are endless. That is the Insta360 ONE X2. Hit the link below to get yourself an Insta360 X2. And start recording your flows. Stay low.